and start a proposal based on cause and public input. Thank you. Man, what a blast. I can't think of anything I'd much rather do than watch bureaucrats get their ass handed to them for about five hours straight. I'm so proud of the members of this community who stood up and told the county commissioners straight up that we had no interest in what they were trying to accomplish here with this land use code. The thoughtful nature of the comments and the understanding of civics and philosophy that was displayed by the members of this community was really encouraging. And, you know, you think that you know the people where you live and what they're about. There's always that nagging suspicion in the back of your mind that maybe it's just you, you know, that feels the way you do. But to be in a group of 700 people who spoke with one voice and one resolve against the designs of government encroachment and power grabs restored my faith in uh, people and where we live. So thank you all who showed up at the meeting, all those of you who spoke, uh, particularly encouraging to hear young people who clearly didn't have much public speaking experience feel passionately enough about this issue that they would go up there and fight their stage fright in order to voice the concerns they had about how these land use codes would affect their lives. We heard a lot of great things and in this video I've got some highlights from the earlier portion of the meeting. Hopefully the entire thing will end up online on the county's website and I'll put a link in the description to that uh, YouTube channel that they maintain over there. If you can uh, handle watching five hours of, of people yelling at the government then I recommend it. It'd be a good watch. We heard from all types of folks in our community, from multi-generation ranchers to recent emigres who want to practice permaculture and other valuable endeavors. And everyone seemed to be of the same opinion with except, of course, the county commissioners who still largely seem a little confused about what it is that we're upset about and why we're upset. The ultimate conclusion of this meeting was that they decided to scuttle the 2022 revisions entirely, which is a, a minor win, but now they're going back to trying to make chicken salad out of the chicken shit that is the uh, 2021 code. So the fight's not over, but at least we have seen some ground given up um, with regard to the most egregious portions of this code. So the fight goes on and I urge uh, all people in my area to stay engaged, stay involved in this fight. And those of you who are not here but are concerned about these issues, you feel free to email our county commissioners. I'll put a link to their email addresses in here too, just to let them know how you feel about this as a human being. We'll see what comes of this next round of revisions, but we're not planning to stop fighting and if we have to go to uh, more drastic measures with regard to recalls and referendums and things like that. The, all of that is in the works and I will see that if there isn't a, a change in the attitude of the commissioners toward what we're looking for in terms of the codes that directly affect our daily lives. So I hope you enjoy watching the local people here take it to the man and stand up against the forces of tyranny that are attempting to curtail our lives and our lifestyle here in Delta County, Colorado. The people of Delta County are not fools and they see what is happening in the state and understand there is an underlying agenda in the works that could in time utilize land codes to take property and force residents to be subjected to any variety of development against their will, creating further constraints upon the people's right to property opens a door to more egregious governmental overreach and this is unacceptable. Residents are now standing in the gap in order to appeal to their commissioners to not lose sight of the fact that the LUC and proposed updates could do far more damage than good to this county. The residents who you represent will leave Delta County to be a bastion of freedom, one of the last in the state and we implore you, do not take that away from us by way of the LUC and its updates. 
You can see that people are here to work with you to create something that can preserve the freedoms so many are seeking. We pray you hear us and choose to stand with your people as opposed to implementing government restrictions that will effectively place shackles upon the people you are supposed to protect. Thank you. I've spent the last five years working extensively on land use issues in Delta County. I'm here as part of the Delta County Coalition, a nonpartisan organization established by residents of Delta County concerned about the county land use code, land use freedoms, and protecting the rural quality of life and agriculture in Delta County. We invite you to learn more about our organization and see details of our posted work at deltacountycoalition.org. We thank you, commissioners, and urge you in the strongest terms to follow through on your public announcement on February 7th to vote no on the proposed plan and commission's land use code revisions under consideration at tonight's hearing. And to table any land use code review by the planning commission until the issues and concerns raised across the county can first be addressed. Please take the time to get this right and develop a code that really works for Delta County and the farmers, ranchers, business owners, and res residents that live here. The draft code in its current form would be detrimental and threaten the livelihoods and way of life for large numbers of county residents. I would also like to thank all three commissioners here tonight, and especially Commissioner Supes for your efforts to protect property rights, support county farmers and ranchers, and work to prevent harmful overregulation in Delta County. We have submitted detailed constructive comments with specific issues, page citations, and full details in writing via email, and I have printed copies here for you tonight. Here's a brief overview of the comments on the Planning Commission's document, which we'll read over with a, a few of our members joining us. Page 33 changes allowed by rights to require zoning permits for almost 50 types of land uses. This is perhaps the most controversial change in the proposed revision and would impact many landowners' rights that were protected as exempt from regulation for two decades under the specific development regulations and were promised to be enshrined as allowed by right under the 2021 Land Use Code and on the existing county website. This is not just semantic as the change imposes three plus chapters of standards, fines, and other issues on these issues and challenges the basic culture of freedom in Delta County versus asking government permission for basic activities. On Table 2B, it would require permits and restrictions for small businesses, including light industry, without retail, where they are currently allowed by right. Page 23 removes exemptions from approval language for the remaining allowed by right uses, mostly agriculture, even after the almost 50 uses above are changed to zoning permits. This is a front to the, an affront to the enshrined allowed by right category as a whole. Page 91 would require that all new homes be connected to municipal water or small water company water taps, even if they already have a permitted well, spring, or other water rights. These are just a few of the items that we've submitted. We thank you again for your time and attention to addressing these critical issues and for protecting our Delta County communities by voting no on the passage of the February 8th draft of the Land Use Code and really taking the time to develop, to develop land use codes that are right for Delta County and its residents. It is clear that you rushed these land use codes into effect during the height of the pandemic. The current codes are unworkable and in direct violation of our master plan. And worse yet, they do not address the fundamental problems the people of Delta County wish to solve. <laughs> we know what you did was rushed and hurried, and even though you may have followed the letter of the law, you did not follow the spirit of the law. I feel slighted. I feel you've harmed me. And I feel you are attempting to change private property rights into one of permissioned uses. <clears throat> this code changes our social contract with the county. It allows you ultimate rule and say over what we can and cannot do on our property. If you're going to try to change the very fabric of the agreements, you should, at minimum, follow the same process you did when you enacted the master plan. A master plan is the master in both statute and meaning. The land use code or zoning plan is subordinate to the master plan, not the other way around. Amen. <laughs> follow the principles of the master plan as stated by the state statutes, your codes completely and utterly fail to do so. We demand these codes inspire the county to, install, to solve their own problems and empower neighborhoods by returning to area planning groups. A system, even though slow, historically solved 90% of the problems 
before they ever went to the county. We demand that our codes address our fundamental problems, which are mostly based on watersheds, water resources, and protecting the rights of people to make a living on their land. <clears throat> the Planning Commission is supposed to be a fair and balanced representation of the hardworking people of the county. We put our trust in this process, and this trust has been breached. Yeah. We can no longer consent to allowing a minority representation to make our rules. <clears throat> we wish to rescind this agreement and create a master plan and a new code book. The Planning Commission failed to follow their own bylaws on February 8th. Eleven simple pages of plain language. How can we expect this commission of untrained volunteers, a, a quasi-judicial body, to make legal determinations on a 200-plus page document? They can't, even, they can't even follow their own rules. Yeah. Yeah. Worse yet, we now have a director that does not represent, that does not have the perspective to solve these problems. He cannot understand the county he's supposed to be working for, and will never be able to walk back these codes to something that people can rally behind. So the codes that are simple, fair, and defensible. Therefore, the people of Delta County ask you to repeal this hodgepodge of outsourced codes from 2021 and allow the community to write their own laws. <laughs> we ask that you follow state constitution in Article 5, Section 1, which allows the people to write their own laws. <clears throat> and this is the last time that a lot of us are going to waste our time asking for permission. The next step was we're going to use our own codes in State Statute 3011-103.5 that allows us to write our own laws. And that may be a citizen's initiative to repeal these codes, or it may be a recall petition. So, yeah. Yeah. our commands are simple stop, repeal, and vote. Yeah. I, like many people in this room and many people in this county, have no desire to be involved in government. That's not what I want to spend my time doing. I plan on having the people who are responsible doing that for the people of the county. However, like a bunch of people in this room and in this county, I've had to start reading land use codes to understand what's happening and how it impacts me, my neighbors, and my friends. The land use code in reading it is ambiguous. My understanding is not the planning commission and not the three of you commissioners are able to agree upon what it means. It is so contradictory and convoluted. It's very difficult for anybody to follow. So then we plan to allow one person or his designee to then have their interpretation thrust upon all of us. And that does not seem to be okay. A lot of people have already brought up a lot of my concerns, so I will keep mine brief to one that hasn't been brought up. On page 24 of your red line version, under master plan, F, funding sources. The planning commission is specifically empowered to receive and expend all grants, gifts, bequests, etc. My concern about this is nowhere in government where I've ever worked are you allowed to accept gifts. Why? Why are we not allowed to accept gifts? We're not allowed to accept gifts because gifts breed corruption. Throughout this land use code, there are so many places where corruption is built into the code about who gets to decide who does a review, about who gets to decide how many meetings a person has, about how many fees that person will then have to pay. These are things that we do not need, nor do we want in Delta County. Thank you for much. I'm David Justice, I'm representing the Lamborn Foundation from the North Fork Valley. Uh, my biggest concern um, is the speed at which the county wants to implement a new land use code. The ink was barely dry on the last one. It was implemented on April 1st, 2021. It hasn't even been two years and we're already talking about it. And let's not play games. This is a new land use code. This is not an amendment. I spent $25 on a red line edition and I couldn't follow along yesterday in the uh, work session because changes had already been made uh, yeah. from the certified copy that was sent up from the planning commission so so what i'm seeing here is a moving target about the time i'm getting familiar with something a new change is offered you know uh 
it was uh, distinguished earlier that the this is not about a building code, but what this is about is incrementalism, and it seems to be moving real fast right now. The precedent, the precedent that you're about to set, should you adopt this, is every year and a half or so, you can adopt a new land use code. And so now the laws are changing more than incrementally, they're changing rapidly. The, um, I'm, I'm troubled by section two uh, in the code, particularly that distinguishes uh, use, the uses, the different categories of uses. A, for example, means allowed. Well, allowed by who? By God? Because that's where our rights come from. But as I read this code, I, I'm seeing a conversion of the natural inalienable rights bestowed upon us by our creator. Inherent in the property right is the use of our property. The county is already uh, is allowed by right as long as they comply with applicable standards of the code. So there's a, that's a contradiction. Either it's a right endowed upon us by the creator, it's a natural right to which we're all entitled, or there's been a conversion of these rights to the county control, which they give back to us in the form of a privilege. So I recommend that the county table this thing and uh, start over again and uh, you know and enjoy the input from the community and and operate from that perspective rather than the planning uh, bureaucracy that is established in the, in the county thank you you are changing things so quickly that it doesn't seem like the three of you can keep up <laughs> there seems to be an immense amount of resources that have been put into this county trying to fix something that the people of this county do not believe is broken. Yeah. Yeah. The way in which you are handling this really seems to be one of the biggest problems. Yeah. You are creating so much distrust between your citizens and our local government. You are creating a monster that looks like this. I don't think that you can manage it. It doesn't have to be a monster because we don't, none of us want to be here like this. We want to work with you. We want you to work with us. We want to feel like the Planning Commission, which is mostly supposed to be a volunteer, it is made up mostly of volunteers, but is being run by someone who does not represent our county well. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to be here like this. Please stop pushing this through. Do not vote it through as is. Stop the update, repeal the 2021 loop codes. Please bring the public into this. Just meeting the legal obligation of putting newspaper and Facebook posts up is not sufficient anymore. Yeah. 3E1A, Chapter 2, Zoning Districts, Land Use and Events. One, generally, the standards of the section apply to temporary events. Generally, by definition, means in most cases or usually. That is not clear. Chapter 2, 3E2A's Redline 2021 changes the special events, which I heard someone else share, from 75 per calendar year to 3. How does the community benefit from 3? And does this apply to businesses already approved by the Planning Commission prior to 2021? Would the following mean that, the, that we can continue as is um, and that we can have more than three events per year. Guest ranch means, this is in section two, definitions in alphabetical order. Guest ranch means, and I'll just read part of it, may be used for private events, um, private parties, corporate events, and weddings. Lodging, um, again, part of it, may be used for private special events, private parties, corporate events and weddings. Yesterday you mentioned private means friends or family having a wedding. The above said private, however, lodging facility is a business, and while the wedding or corporate event would be a private to their guests, what does that mean? <laughs> please, please consider the possibility that La Plata County in Durango has already gone through something similar to us here in Delta. After a meeting just like this, they repealed the LUC, scrapped the one they had been attempting to create, and started fresh with community input. Yeah. I can imagine that your jobs haven't been easy with
with this whole LUC challenge. Delta County is full of a variety of personalities from different walks of life, and each of us is a part of that. Please consider the possibility that it would be easier to start over it than continuing this crazy train of attempting to rewrite the LUC that is not at all what matches the master plan. My belief is united we stand, and teamwork makes the dream work. Thank you. Yeah. I'm here today to speak up and stand up for freedom. I am really fed up with government control and overreach, and it seems to be trickling down. My 18-year-old son struggles to see how he will ever get out on his own because things have become so difficult and expensive. That's what these codes do. They make things more difficult and more expensive, taking away personal rights and freedom. The direction our country is headed is a clear sign that we must find a way to get back involved and say no when it's necessary. Um, when I found out what was going on with the codes, it was disturbing because I thought this was a place where government overreach wasn't going to happen. Um, I believe this is no different than when a 500 page bill hits the floor of the legislature and it's not read because there's not time and before we know it we have more laws that take away our values and our freedom. I've tried to study the document. I consider myself a fairly intelligent woman and it's extremely hard to understand. Um, we shouldn't need a law degree to understand the rules that govern our land, and we need a simple, common-sense code. One thing I really don't like is the fact that in, I believe, Chapter 13, Section 1C, the county and all its agents grant themselves immunity, meaning they can't be sued or held accountable for anything within the battles of enforcement of this code. That's pretty convenient. Um, <laughs> It is my understanding that there was a constituent at the 2021 hearing who asked to slow down and be more transparent, um, but it was adopted anyway. Um, as a lifetime Delta County resident, I'm in favor of a more simple code written with us in mind instead of money and big development. A code must be written in simple, understandable language, preferably through smaller groups who create their own um, rules that work for them, working with the Planning Commission in a way that eliminates overreach into private lives. Um, we are an agricultural area and I value that. I value our local farmers and ranchers and with the way things are going, we need to be able to keep producing our own food. Absolutely. It should be hard. Please go out to make everything more difficult and more expensive. Please stop, please repeal the 2021 code. Please start over and put it to a vote. I come from generations of agricultural people in this county, and I'm here to just kind of give you a personal appeal. These folks have outlined details, and what I want you to know is that this code directly affects my family. We as agricultural people have to do extra. We have to do things like have homestays. We have to do events. We have to do weddings and um, bring in hunters. We have to be able to hang signs on our doors and our fences and say, wood for sale, hay for sale. Hey, Aunt Bonnie wants to do your hair. This code dramatically affects the seven businesses that I have to do in addition to agriculture, just because we've chosen this lifestyle. Agriculture isn't easy and we have to do extra. With all of those businesses, my family doesn't have time to come down and apply for 23 permits a year so that some director who doesn't understand us can either decide whether we get to eat or not. This is that understand us. And gentlemen, I know enough about the three of you that you understand agriculture and you understand our plight. So here's what I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask that you talk to us. We wanna work with you. We wanna fix this. We all live here together. Let's figure out how to get along. Let's figure out how to address the problems that we have, which are minimal, but also not restrict the freedom for those of us that have been here forever and plan to be here forever and generations to come to be able to work and get along. Thank you. So I pee by the side of the Nanking cherry tree to give them nitrogen. 
I turn to my neighbors for inspiration around a build on the land when I can afford it to suit and it, that build has to suit the land and the extreme climate we have here. My neighbors have straw bale, hempcrete, aircrete, passive solar, yurts, teepees, domes, and earth ships. It takes time to learn about this, years in fact, and I do this in the shelter of my tiny Bambi Airstream trailer. 5G needs to be kept out of the county. So again, let's pause and acknowledge our citizens' sovereignty, our freedom, and our responsibility to the land and each other. Please summarize. And celebrate this innovative, creative, self-reliant, regenerative community. And Carl, I invite you to retire. <laughs> But um, allowing us to make changes, um, reasonable changes to our homes and property by permits is outrageous and feels like a control grab and a money grab. We want less government involvement in our lives, not more. If you don't live, listen to us and our stories, don't be surprised when someone steps up to take your place as a county commissioner who yeah. speaks and acts for the people. I purchased 16 acres of agricultural land in 2014. In April 2022, I was contacted by Everett Neal, the newly hired code enforcer. Neal could not find the paperwork for our road access. It was missing from the county's records. The date of the approval of the access was needed to determine what possible violations are present based on the county's interpretation of the regulations that were in place at that time. The very first letter that Neil states, in the very first letter that, from Neil, he states that if the violations are verified and not corrected, the following can happen. Recording of a notice of violation that could affect sale or refinance. Liability for the cost of civil enforcement, such as investigation, inspection, curing of any violation, monitoring compliance, and criminal prosecution. When I produced the missing 2015 approval of access, Neil concluded in his compliance rep report that the baseline has been established as a legal, non-conforming condition, and that intensification, modification, or extension will require being brought into conformance with current codes. What legal non-conforming essentially means it is that we are being held hostage on our own land. We cannot, for example, replace a unit without bringing the entire land into compliance with the code that exists at that time. With this land use code, the commissioners are harming the people that do no wrong to others. Our land use and property rights are protected by the Constitution and natural law. If the government restricts the use of our property, what is given in return to the landowners for this order? By removing the lawful right of private property use and restricting it with a permit, the county is converting our rights into a privilege. This is unconstitutional and immoral. Yes. When the county grants those permits to us, they can just as easily take them away. I ask that any work on the update of the 2021 Land Use Code be stopped immediately. I ask that the 2021 Land Use Code is repealed. I ask that the properly trained area working groups drawn from the residents from each district's major watershed are brought back. I ask that they collaborate with the properly trained planning commission to revise the zoning and land use guidelines so that they are simple and balanced between private property rights and the well-being of the community as a whole. This could happen with assistance from an experienced consultant but the task of writing of the guidelines is solely with the people of the county, not what is happening right now when the planning department director, Carl Holm, is ghostwriting changes to the certified document. I ask that a collaboratively crafted handbook be put to a public vote. I ask that we go back to the performance planning with properly trained area planning committees. 
I ask that we go back to the old and honorable ways of personal accountability, fair and inclusive decision making, fast and just con conflict resolution, and pride in our resilient and down-to-earth living. At the last meeting where public comment was taken, the Planning Commission asked for specifics to be changed. I want to be clear that I, along with many others here, have read the 2021 and revisions for the land use codes. There are so many issues with the entire document that do not, in any way, feel like it was written for or in support of the people here in Delta County. Asking for specifics, in my mind, is so you can go back through and make those specific changes. This seems like an ineffective use of time, considering it is not only what is in the code, but also the language it is written with. We are in Delta County, the land of the cowboy, the farmer, the rancher, and the simple man. If we have any land use codes at all, our code should be easy to understand and written using simple language. That is not what we have in front of us today. And do you know why? It is because this code is a copy and paste version that has been implemented all over the United States. I say implemented, but the correct word may be weaponized. This code yeah. is us under the thumb of the government. Where it has already been implemented and enforced, you will see homelessness skyrocketing, ridiculous fines that have led to foreclosure and loss of land. And when this happens, big companies swoop in and buy it up. It's happened in virtually every county around us, and it is not a coincidence that more regulation brings in more money, power, and pushes out the common folk. This is by design. If you think this code is written to protect the people, you're sadly mistaken. Look at the agenda that is being pushed across this nation. This is far deeper than land use codes, and this implementation is a new, organized, governized, controlled, and monitored way of life that we here in Delta County love our freedoms far too much to let this encroach any further without yeah. Yeah. Don, Wendell, and Mike, I ask you to stand for our rights and support us as we uphold the Constitution and the last of the cowboy culture. It starts with the land use codes, but I promise this is just the beginning. We need strong allies and representation in these chairs as the war on freedom has just begun. Yeah. Yeah. For now, I ask that any work on the update of the 2021 land use code be stopped immediately. I ask you to repeal the 2021 land use code and create a document with ample public input we're all proud of and that reflects our values here. Carl, I'm sure you're a nice guy, but this is not the right place for you. TK, your time has expired and you're in violation. We're not backing down with or without you. We must not be free because we claim freedom, but because we practice it. Um. Hey, first and foremost, I'll give credit where credit's due. You guys got a big enough venue to accommodate us. Everybody here has a seat for the very first time, so thank you for recognizing that it's not just a small number of people in your community that are disenchanted with these codes. And uh, I, I believe work early today to be here, and I can tell you for every person in this room right now, there's four or five that couldn't make it. Because we're busy raising families, raising farms, taking care of our land, making a livelihood. Um, the common motif I'm hearing tonight is we, we've been funneled here. This has been our last frontier. We've tried to make our livelihood and our culture work elsewhere, and these exact kind of codes have impeded. And so here we are, all funneled into Delta County, and um, you're bringing these codes here, and it bothers me that you don't understand the culture of your constituents. You don't understand what we're about. And if you did, you wouldn't have needed this uproar to let you know these codes need revision. The three of you should have been able to read these codes and say, hey, I don't think our people are going to approve of this. Right? So, so here we are. We're, um, we're voicing our opinion, and it is uh, obviously far too much for a, a single evening to go through every line of code. Listen, when things are really messed up, 
you don't fix it, you demo it and you start over, and that's exactly what we need to do with this book. It will take far too much time. It is not efficient to go through these 220 pages line by line. Just throw it away, repeal the 2021 land use codes, and let's work together with your community, with your constituents, right? Your, your opinions don't matter. You voice our opinions. Yeah. Yeah. to working with you in the future as you guys vote no tonight <laughs> on this land use code you send it back and, and we work together so thank you mike and don and wendell we're counting on you we're counting on you to do what's right for the land and the people of delta county there's been a serious breach of trust here how in the world did a document like this get so close to becoming our code? This agenda and these codes will not work here. We're calling on you to vote this down immediately. This agenda will not work here. We're calling on you to repeal these codes completely and start over. Let's make a document with ample public opinion. Something we can all be proud of. We want to set an example for other counties. We want something that actually works for the people here. We're depending on you. There's a bigger picture here. The fight here for our rights is bigger than Delta County. And I'm asking you to see the bigger picture too. Everywhere you look, there's tighter and tighter controls. We're being squeezed from all sides. Tyranny has become a household word. I'm standing here tonight for my kids. It makes me really sad and angry when I think of what kind of world my children will inherit if we don't draw a line in the sand right here, right now. If we open the door to these kinds of policies, it'll be damn near impossible to take it back. The way I see it, Delta County is a beacon of light. We don't have to bow down to pressures of conformity, and we won't. We don't need more regulations, and we do not need to ask permission to do things on our land. This is our right, and we have a responsibility to protect it. Self-reliance, self-determination, sadly, that's rare these days. Mike, Don, Wendell, are you going to stand with us, with your people? Because we are backing down. We're counting on you. Stop, repeal, put this to a vote, and keep Delta County free. Um, I want you to repeal the 2021 land use code and table the 2022 demolish it, whatever word you want to use. Um, I, you know, don't know any of you guys at all. I, you know, I know a lot of people in Delta County, but I don't know you guys, so I don't know where your brains are at or anything. I do know that, you know, America in a large part has become very uh, controlled police. There's not a lot of places left that are like Delta County. Delta County is a very unique place. I've been able to move to Delta County. I was homeless when I moved here, and I've been able to pull myself up by the bootstraps. I now own the bootstraps. And I would not have been able to do that had these land use codes been in place and had the culture and the spirit of this place been destroyed. If this had been like Boulder or Denver, I would not be able to do this. I've been able to move here to this county and I've been embraced by the people here and that's why I live here. And you can't find places like that in America anymore. And my belief is that if you vote in these land use codes, you're gonna be destroying that spirit of this county. One of the other biggest concerns that I have with this land use code is scrapping the complaint-driven system. We need to remain intact the complaint-driven system. We should not be able to investigate or put a fine on anybody unless there's been an official complaint made by a, by a neighbor, by somebody in this county. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. We need to have provisions that remain in the land use code. As I understand it now, the 2021 or whatever code that is in place now it is actually written that it needs to be a complaint before you can do anything to anybody. 
I think at very least you shouldn't be able to build a house for at least six years. You have to live in an RV for six years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> You're earning your paycheck by being here tonight, and one of the things that I want to make sure you recognize is that we are all here on our own dime. Yeah. Yeah. On, our, on our own time, burning precious fossil fuels to let you know that we do not like what you are doing. You're getting paid to do this, yet you're not serving the people. Yeah. Whom are you serving by centralizing bureaucracy and smothering the essential character of Delta County? Right. It's time to stop this and listen to the voices of the people. We want very localized control and minimal involvement with a centralized planning department. We want Carl and Everett, the enforcer who seems to think that trespassing is okay if there is no sign barring him from doing so, removed from your employ. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Give us a meeting facilitator or a neutral party rather than a code compliance officer. Hold Tom K. accountable for ignoring bylaws after being directly challenged by a peer. Yes! Let's keep Delta County simple. Let's keep it free. Please stop, repeal, and vote. So, I think I thought about listening to what everybody said, and for some reasons, I know you folks, commissioners, you all have been here a long time, and I really do think that you are missing the boat on what is going on in this county and the people that live here. First of all, there's a lot of retirees that have moved here. There's lots of people that are just trying to make it. There's lots of people that like growing their own food, including myself. Not only do I like growing it here, I like growing it where I was living before. And the restrictions, well, let me put it this way. I did partake in the 218 master plan. I went down, I read all the maps, I talked to uh, Lally, I talked to some of your commissioners. One of you, Wendell, wasn't there. And I um, went through the whole thing. I questioned immediately, what are you doing taking an A35 rated piece of ground and turning it into an A20? Because immediately I knew you guys were thinking that that would, could be future plan development, it's what it's called, seven miles out, nine miles out of town. So anyway, that was the first key that I thought things were going right, but nobody listened. On the 2021 code, I also did make notes on it. I tried to read it, it was very confusing, and I have read county plans before, and this one was extremely difficult. And it didn't really make a lot of sense, and it did not make me happy, but no matter how many times I complained, nobody seemed to listen. So here we are now with an updated 2021 plan, which I have read again, and I have do not agree with anything that's in it. The restrictions are ridiculous. I have now asked my son to come and live and on the ranch. He lives with me in the house, so we're not doing anything wrong. <laughs> but I also applied to get a permit to build another house on 20 acres, which is legal for me to take off, and it just became a whole hoopla. Like it's taking years for something that simple, and I'm not even asking for a variance. Anyway, I, I'm not sure that this is going to be the kind of place We've discussed it, that we're going to want to stay with all these land use codes that are being put in here because it just isn't what Delta County is really about. Now, I was unable to record myself when I was presenting at this thing, but I can read you what I wrote if somebody comes up with uh, footage of the time when I was speaking up there. I'll be sure to post it to this channel as well. But what I said was the following. One thing is abundantly clear. The Delta County Land Use Code and its current tyrannical enforcement are counter to the interests of the people of this county. Whether by less restrictive code or minimal code enforcement, the people of Delta County have long enjoyed freedoms largely surrendered by other communities. Preservation of these freedoms is far more important than any efficiency gained through the current iterations of the Land Use Code. More troubling than the particulars of the code is the apparent disconnect between the desires of our neighbors and you, our public servants. Any form of government derives its just powers from the consent of the governed, and you clearly do not have that. As such, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish this form of government. 
If this repugnant code is allowed to stand, it will be the death of the sort of innovative land use that is the source of everything good and novel in Delta County. Only the wealthy will be able to bear the cost of compliance and we will mutate into just another mountain community where the working people cannot afford housing and part-time residents neglect the land and produce nothing. Beyond the issues present in the letter of the law in the LUC, we have a far more serious problem in the culture and character of current code enforcement. The growing rage evident in our community is in part due to the evisceration of our historic freedoms, but more broadly due to the shift from a laissez-faire enforcement posture to the sudden coercive and tyrannical application of the code. Whatever good intentions inspired the creation of this code have almost instantly been perverted into a reality where code enforcers comb our social media posts, like the East German Stasi for evidence of violations, and actively stoke feuds between neighbors. Dissent has been chilled for fear of bureaucratic retaliation. My neighbors have expressed concern for their livelihood should they publicly voice opposition to the will of the planning department. How are we to continue the American experiment of self-governance in face of such totalitarianism? Surely this cannot be what you intended when you adopted the 2021 LUC. I urge you to repeal the 2021 Land Use Code and vacate all paid positions within the planning department. Let's begin work on community-driven code creation that secures historically enjoyed land use liberties for the residents of Delta County in plain original language. Such a code must preserve all action that does not infringe on others by right without permit, and enforcement must be driven solely by non-anonymous complaint and allow for arbitration before any form of coercion is employed. Once complete, this new code should be put to a vote so that the public trust might be restored. Just because the rest of the world seems eager to trade liberty for a false promise of security, there is no reason for us to follow suit. Thank you.